Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Wings of Fire 7 Thrones. So, I've done videos on Wings of Fire 7 Thrones a bit back last year, but since I was inactive, I wasn't really making any content, including any content on Wings of Fire 7 Thrones. So, I think that Wings of Fire 7 Thrones is an absolutely amazing game, but my last video I was doing some things that I would love to see added to Wings of Fire Early Access, so I was thinking I might do one for Wings of Fire 7 Thrones, because why not? Before I start talking about things I would like to see changed, I'm going to give the game a little ad because I want it to do well, so I'm just going to talk about all the things I like about it. So first off, Wings of Fire 7 Thrones has some of the best lore I've ever seen. It's all very hidden and you have to complete puzzles to figure it out, so I might be doing a video pretty much putting it all together, although that would take me a while, so it might be a bit before I actually release that, if I even decide to. It's also a survival game, so there's food, there's water, you have to fight with other players, and then you're able to get accessories. There's tons of accessories. You can go mining for ore, which you can then turn into money, which you can then buy items with, or you can find hidden items. Tons of fun. But now time to get to things that I think would make the game even better. So currently the game is not out for mobile, which is not great because according to YouTube analytics, at least for me, around 60% plus of the Wings of Fire community is mobile mobile users so that's not great because by not being available for mobile pretty much the majority of the wings of fire community can't play i'd really like to see them add mobile compatibility or since i'm not sure if it would exactly be reasonable to do because of the size of the map and the detail maybe make a secondary game that's more simplified less features but still gives the main play experience but is compatible with mobile and gives mobile players the ability to really enjoy the game maybe in the mobile game there could be a bit less focus on pvp and more and exploring and doing the puzzles and figuring stuff out and just getting all the cool items. Secondly, one thing I'd like to see is if they would make the grind for the game a lot easier. Currently, there's kind of a group of players that spend a ton of time on the game and are really up there, have a ton of the super powerful items. And then there's a bunch of players that are just starting out and a lot of them, including me, just don't want to continue because of how difficult it is. Once you're kind of not able to catch up with the top players, pretty much just getting taken out over and over again from the more powerful players that are able to to absolutely destroy you so it's just a lot of the same stuff a lot of mining because you can't fight because of your lower level mining then selling the mining and selling so it's not a super fun grind if they were able to just reduce that time a bit ton more players would play the game and would continue playing after the first couple of hours kind of on the same point i'd like to see a rework in pvp so how pvp currently works is that it's pretty much at least in my opinion a bunch of spamming trying to pretty much flick your mouse around tons of just crazy stuff happening on the screen i'll show a video of a pvp fight and in the end it's pretty much nine times out of ten the person with the better items will end up winning the fight i know that some people might like this system but personally i'm a fan of pvp systems where you can't outplay somebody if you're just better at fighting so they could do this by obviously changing up the fighting system to make it a bit more skill based they could try and replicate some of the plane fighting systems on roblox another way that i think that they can improve pvp would be to bring down the boost that you get from having the high level items. Obviously, people that have played the game for longer and have gotten the top tier items should be given an advantage in PvP or should have the advantage from the items. But I think that right now, if you're level 10, you pretty much can get attacked by somebody who's at a super high level. They can pretty much take you out before you even know what's happened. So although obviously give people that played the game longer an advantage, but maybe make it a lot less severe because like from my experience, even if somebody's just slightly better than you when it comes to items, you have no chance in the fight. Overall, those are just my kind of general recommendations for Wings of Fire 7 Thrones. I think that the game is awesome the way it is, and I would recommend anyone who plays on PC to at least check it out. I know that the grind can be tough, and even if you can't do that, it's still just fun to fly around and explore all the structures in the game because there are a lot and they're all really cool. I'm going to be doing more videos on this game in the future just to highlight some of the coolest parts. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.